From what I've read, as many as one in three of us suffers from insomnia. That's having the opportunity, but not the ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. The culprits? Blue light from screens, stress, noise, the kids, the job, you name it. We collectively spend millions on ways to improve our sleep. So can a simple light help us fall asleep easier and wake up more gently? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and the Casper Glow Light here is a brand new light on the market designed to help you wind down and fall asleep naturally for a better, deeper sleep. I had a chance to spend a few weeks with Casper Glow, and this is what I found. Before we get started, though, if you end up liking this video or finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Casper Glow is a small rechargeable wireless lamp that's specifically designed for the bedroom to help you fall asleep and wake more gently. The lamp, which comes as a single or a two pack, and that's what I got to try, ships with a rechargeable base for each lamp. You can keep the lamp on the base so it's always powered or use it wirelessly wherever you need. Casper Glow uses warm white light to lull you to sleep or to wake you more softly. Warmer colored light, in this case with a slight orangish hue, can be relaxing. Think candlelight or a nice crackling fire or soft incandescent bulbs. While blue light has been shown to stimulate our brains, warmer light does the opposite. While you can use and control Casper Glow on the lamp itself, you can also get more control via the Casper Glow app. I spent several weeks with the Casper Glow. You turn it on at night by flipping it over, essentially turning it upside down, flipping it on its end. You can then adjust the brightness by swiveling the light, as you can see, like a dimmer. The only thing is that if you're doing this without the app, it automatically shortens the dim time. So if you want it at 50% brightness, it cuts the dimming time in half. That's not ideal. Fortunately though, you can change this inside the app. Go into your control panel in the app, and those are the sliders on the bottom right, then use the dimming time and overall brightness controls to make the adjustments. You can use Casper Glow to wake you with light that brightens like a gentle sunrise. You can set how long it takes to come on and at what time, but there were a few flaws for me with this part of the app. Well, you can choose the time your light will come on and you can set different lamps to come on at different times. You can't choose the days of the week you want the light to turn on. It's all or nothing or you'll need to remember to manually turn the lights off over the weekend and then turn them back on during the week, for example. Now you can choose how long the Casper Glow will stay on when it's set to wake you up, but unfortunately it won't stay on. At some point these lights are set to begin dimming again. So if you're the type who needs a push to get up, this light might actually lull you into falling back to sleep. Now, the auto off after you wake feature, which is what that's called, can be adjusted. You can set it for between 10 and 30 minutes, meaning that after it gets to full brightness and it's supposed to have woken you up, you can take 10 to 30 minutes for it to fade back down and turn off. Now, if you want a little more versatility out of this and you want it to work better for you, there is a way to hack it. You can use what's called the pause feature of the light to keep it on. You just remember, uh, you just need to remember to do that when it wakes you up. Essentially what happens is once it gets to full brightness, if you touch the top of the light, it pauses the uh, sleep feature. So yes, that will keep it on, but it seems to me that that's a lot to remember for being that early in the morning. Because Casper Glow is portable and operates wirelessly, you can take it with you on that midnight snack run or to use the bathroom in the dark. An ambient light sensor lets you use Glow in the middle of the night without waking everyone else up. Just wiggle it for a low, gentle, glowing light. To shut it back off again, turn it upside down. Casper Glow has the ability to sync up your lights or split them for separate control. Even if you have the lights set to dim you to sleep together, you can still separate the wake up times, which is convenient. And if you want full individual control, you can just split both of the lights up in the app and run them separately. Off of the charging base, the battery life can last up to a few days of regular dimming and waking. The battery will last about seven hours on continuous use when Glow is turned on and paused. The device will blink periodically three times to let you know it's low on power. And you can also check the status inside the Glow app. When you set it on its base, Glow will pulse faintly to let you know it's charging. If it doesn't, just adjust it until you get a good connection. Now these lamps are quite small, they're only about 5 inches high. They're made of plastic and are lightweight. They're basically super minimalist with no buttons, switches, stands, shades, or finicky bits or accessories. I quite like the design personally. 
To the big question now, does this light work? It's hard for me to say definitively if it really does. I'm lucky to be a good sleeper, but at the same time, I absolutely love lighting and love having soft light in the bedroom. I just feel like it makes me sleepy and feel cozy. Now I've used different sleep-wake lights previously and I'll make sure those are all linked up here. I do think that overall they send that trigger to you that it's time to shut your brain and your body down. So how well does the light wake you up? I personally definitely notice when this light comes on and when it does I feel like it does help me wake up. I wish when it came on it would stay on because some days I need that extra boost and that extra incentive to get out of bed. So what's missing from the Casper Glow? If I pit this light against some of the other products I've reviewed, it seems to fall short on additional features. There's no added white noise or audio features like the Philips Somnio has. You can't choose whether you want blue or warm light, so you could use it in your home office, for example, like a lamp I tried from Lighting Science. And there's no rainbow-hued options like the Betty Glow, and it won't call you an Uber. Seriously, the Betty Glow will do that. So the big question to ask yourself here is, do you need it to do more than lull you to sleep and wake you up, or are you happy with just that? The other issue to consider here is price. These lights are expensive. A single one is going to set you back 140 Canadian dollars, and a two-pack is about 260 Canadian. Now that's a lot, particularly because if you only wanted the light for, say, drifting off at night, there's a single separate bulb made by another company that'll do that for you, and it only sells for about 25 bucks. But overall though, these lights in particular are beautiful. They will definitely fit into your modern minimalist home, but the price and the lack of additional features, particularly the ability to make wake up adjustments from weekdays to weekends is frustrating. In my opinion, I would say wait for the second generation of these lights before you decide to dive in. If you want to read more about them, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full write up and you can ask me any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.